So the DJI Spark with the FPV backpack didn't work well. DJI Spark FPV racing quad. So I'm gonna put this FPV camera on top of the DJI Spark and attach the camera with this battery. It is the smallest drone DJI has ever made. And uh, this time I'm gonna use it as an FPV drone. Why do I need this extra camera? Because with this drone, the signal from the drone to your display on the phone is digital. And with the digital signal, you get really, sometimes you get latency. In order to get more fun from this drone, I decided to put this camera on top of the drone and use a different system to fly FPV. Okay, so this FPV camera. Whoa, that was a successful flight. Ready to test out the DJI Spark with the FPV package. Let's go. Take off. The home point has been updated. Mm, Please nice. check it on the map. All right, let's go for that sports mode. Wow. What is that? Why isn't the drone going no far? No signal. It's got no signal warning. Return home. I'm gonna turn off the sports mode. I don't think this is successful. It didn't work out as well as I had expected. The AFPB backpack seems to be interfering with the uh, signals from the Spark to the remote all the time. And when the Spark reaches 50 meters distance, it loses signal and comes back automatically next time i try the dji spark fpv backpack i will switch the dji spark signal to 2.4 gigahertz channel so 5 8 and 2 4 they're not going to interfere with each other i think that will work out but that's for future test okay i'll see you in the next one